Begin tonight with what Westfield police are calling an elaborate scheme that all went down inside a grocery store. Police say three people used stolen credit cards and debit cards to buy $16,000 worth of gift cards. Now police are asking for your help tracking the thieves down. News 8's Jenny Dreisler has been following this story. And Jenny, what have police told you? Well, Mike, police tell me that just the way that this all went down, they believe that they're actually dealing with professional scammers. And they said that this well thought out plot actually happened right here behind me inside this Westfield Kroger. Police say that they're checking with other agencies across the nation to make sure that these people aren't involved with other cases anywhere else. I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, that's that's a lot of money. I mean, that's a brand new car. Shoppers at the Kroger off Cary Road in Westfield shocked to hear something so sneaky could happen at their local grocery store. I guess it surprises me though that they would go in a place that's has cameras all over the place. They could roll the footage back and know exactly who was doing this. Just who was behind it was caught on camera. Westfield police say it happened on August 2nd when these three people, one man and two women, stole a wallet from a local Westfield golf course, which police will not identify, between 12 and 1.30 in the afternoon. That's when investigators say the three took the wallet and the debit and credit cards inside to Kroger. Police explained what happened next. The taller female distracts the clerk, while the shorter female ran the stolen credit and debit cards through machines, activating $16,000 in gift cards, all while the man is blocking customers and anyone else from seeing what was happening. You can't blame Kroger. I mean, they, they had a scheme. I mean, it, I mean, Kroger's not hip to everything. They can't know what everything. They're just human, like you and I. You know, they they don't they don't necessarily know you know what the latest scheme is going around. The trio drove off in this black Ford Explorer. I mean, if people devise a way to do it smartly, it can be done. It's just you would think they would be a little more secretive about the location that they would be doing this. While police continue to look for the thieves, shoppers are thinking of the victim. You know, I hope that it goes quick for them. I hope that they don't have to spend a lot of time to, you know, go through a big bunch of hassle to, to get their money back. But, you know, it, it just, it sucks. It's a, right. it's a sucky situation for all. If you know anything about this, contact Westfield Police. Now, Jenny, did you talk to Kroger about all of this? Yeah, I did, and it was just kind of a back and forth conversation today. Kroger obviously telling me they're eager to solve all of this and work with police. But in talking to police and Kroger, I asked them a couple things. First of all, who's on the line for this? And also talking to them about is there a way to track these cards down, some of those gift cards? Still, those answers tonight, a lot of questions because it's unclear about the answers to any of those questions and exactly what's next. A lot of questions here, Jenny. All right. Thank